Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following example. Solve for x. 3 times sine of 2x, which we'll put a bracket around, minus 1 equals to 0. And we're going to add in this condition to avoid infinite many cases. We're going to write down where x is in between 0 and 2 pi. Step number 1. If you think about 3 sine 2x minus 1 equals to 0, you can bring negative 1 to the right-hand side. Step number 2. If you think about the opposite of multiplying by 3, you can divide by 3. So sine of 2x equals to 1 over 3. Now be mindful, because you're looking for 2x, not x, in terms of this angle, this given now becomes, again, you're multiplying the left and the right and the middle by 2. So 2 times 0 is going to be 0, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 pi times 2 is going to be 4 pi. So notice the way you think about this. Again, instead of having two answers, you're now going to have four answers. So that's the mindset that you want to think about. What that really means is when you think about sine of 2x, you can think of 2x as a if you like. That's something that you can think about. So think of an angle, a, which represents 2x. So notice sine a equals to 1 over 3, which is a positive number. So you go back and you recognize that there are two quadrants, 1 and 2, that you're thinking about. And opposite over hypotenuse. Now you can grab the calculator, right? You can make sure you're in radiant mode. And you can take the inverse sine of 1 over 3. When you do that, one of the answers is going to be 0 0.33. 0 0.33983609. Now, for the sake of rounding, I'm going to round everything to four decimal places. So this is going to be approximately 0 0.3398, which is basically this related acute angle. So this angle right here, called the related acute angle, is going to be 0 0.3398. Same thing with this angle here. Now remember, your goal is to find the principal angle. And more importantly, you've defined all the cases. So not only are you thinking about 0.3398, and I'll switch to a different color for you, but you're also thinking about this other angle, which adds 1 for rotation. So this angle is going to be 2 pi plus 0.3398. And if I take my calculator and I add 2 pi to it, this is going to be 6.6230. Again, I'm just rounding it to four decimals. Now, if I switch to another color for you, don't forget there's the second principal angle right there, which is going to be pi minus the original related acute angle, 0.3398. So in this case, if I take pi minus 0.3398, that's going to be approximately 2.8018. And of course, last but not least, if you think about one for rotation plus this angle, then you're going to get this number, which is 2.8018. You're adding it with one full cycle. So if I take the calculator, I'm adding it by 2 pi. This will give me the fourth angle, which is 9.084. And technically, it's 497. So I can round this to 5, 0. Again, your goal is not to find 2x. Your goal is to find x. And the opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2. So if I go back, I take the first number, 0.3398 divided by 2. And let's say I'm rounding that final answer to two decimals now. It's going to be 0.17. Likewise, 6.623 divided by 2. If I round it to two decimals, it's going to be 3.31. If I take 2.8018 divided by 2, that's going to be 1.40. Last but not least, 9.0850 divided by 2. It's going to be 4.54. Now, here comes the most important part, everybody. Sometimes you solve a question and you're wondering, am I doing this right? How do I know for sure this is correct? So I would strongly suggest to everybody, spend one extra minute and you double check. So I am going to double check one of them for you. And then the other three, I trust that you can double check in the same uh, manner. So you can take this first number, still 0.17, and you plug it back in. So I take three sine of 2 times 0 0.17 
minus 1. So if I grab the calculator and I press 3 sine in brackets 2 times 0.17 minus 1, it doesn't give me 0 in the display. I see still 0 0.00461276, which is approximately 0. So very quickly, I already know this answer is correct. Likewise, if you check the other three, they are also correct. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life, please consider to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.